help all of them? Are you gonna run away? Hey everybody, it's a beautiful morning for some work. Jacob and Ken and I yesterday did a bunch of work near the pond and we're gonna continue today. You can see a couple trees in the pond that we pushed over with the excavator. We're gonna keep cleaning up down and around the pond, try to pull those out of the pond and just keep keep cleaning up. Here we go. Cousin, they love you. Yeah, so we're sleeping on cousin Cora. 
so they all get some. Good job. Tomatoes. Yeah. First tomatoes they're trying. Let's see, are they ripe? They're supposed to be orange. Mm. They're ripe? They're good? Medium. Medium? <laughs> Our yours was a little bigger. So maybe yours was more ripe. You what mean does it taste like? A kinda tomato. Kinda oh, sour tomato. You're a baby. Coming through. And there's a pumpkin. Can you chop, uh, put all the com the comfrey I chopped in the compost? In this one, see that little yellow thing? That's an egg that'll turn into a worm. If they're bigger, like a bigger worm, then put them on their Well, they aren't. Good words. They are there are there are categories that you can see. Tinkle. Garden kitties, garden kitties. Hey. Garden kitties. Garden baby. Garden baby. <laughs> it's funny. Oh, yeah. garden baby. Easy bud, easy bud. <laughs> Hey friends and family, I'm at the back of the pond where we've done a bunch of work in the last week. Jacob and Ken helped so much. And so at the back of the pond, the thing that's most noteworthy is there was a tree, I think it was an ash tree growing right up against this oak tree and just crowded everything out. So that's now gone. And now all that's left is a big stump there. And this is the area where the, the pond had leaked before, so that makes it a lot more accessible for us to do some work in this area. I'll need to excavate in and try to get better contact on the leak. I still also need to repair the drain pipe that runs underground through here and pops out around here. Even now in this really dry summer, water's still making its way in here. So that's been interesting. And now, I'll walk up the dam and give you a look out across the pond. You want to come up, James? So we've cleared out a lot of the trees growing in the dam and we'll try to keep doing more. Here you can see where Jacob last had the excavator and we're digging down multiple feet to lower the height of the dam and widen it 
and hopefully that really helps us stop the leaks and end up with a fuller pond because this dam was really really tall and the maximum height we ever got was nowhere near this maximum height so lowering it and widening it to stop leaks could well end up with a fuller pond for us so that'd be nice if it works and looking out the other noteworthy thing is there was a big clump of brush on that side of the pond that we've now torn out and we've got more work to do but it's so much more clear and accessible so that's really exciting and main things left to do this summer for this pond are continue the earthworks of lowering and widening the pond we need to do the best we can to clear out the remaining reeds and brush and then we need to address the pipe going through I don't know if I'll be able to excavate all the way down and inspect the pipe the whole way for leaks that would be ideal but I don't know if I can get down that low but we'll see but that's the state of the pond Here's where we've moved the pigs. We're right behind the shop near the pink, old pink house and the RV. And the pigs are right here. And it's a great little spot to clean up and turn into a nice little treat area. Hi oh, pigs. And the goats are off back there. I'll walk over there next. All right, there's the pigs and then the pink house behind us. And here we are in the new goat paddock and this is where we did a lot of brush clearing when Kevin and Isaac were here helping and it's really turned into a nice little grove with quite a few trees a lot of grass below so really pleased with it and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some measurements to add three sections of fence and lengthen it because we're leaving for our vacation in two days so we'd like to make sure to leave them more than enough paddock to have a lot to eat while we're gone She's taller than you when she stands up like that. <laughs> yum, 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 yum.